as more and more products begin using lithium ion batteries, it's important to know how to properly get rid of them and simply throwing them away can be dangerous. Dr. Brian Staley from the Environmental Research and Education Foundation joins us now to educate us. Dr. Staley, thank you for being here. Glad to be here. Uh, so what is a lithium ion battery and why are they so popular in more and more products? Lithium ion batteries are very much like the batteries we use every day for our TV remote control, for example. The big difference is that you essentially in any battery, you have a chemical reaction happening in a small container. With lithium ion batteries, you're using different chemicals. So these chemicals tend to pack a lot more energy. You have a lot more uh, energy density with these particular batteries and the materials in them are very different, which can cause hazards that typical alkaline batteries can't. Um, and as you noted, these are very popular. They're used in an increasingly broader array of consumer products, our, our laptops, our phones, uh, and anything that needs kind of power uh, in a lightweight, energy dense setting, you're gonna find these lithium ion batteries increasingly uh, used in, in across society. So chances are we've all got an electronic device that has one of these batteries in it, probably several devices. You go to the airport, you check luggage, they ask you at the counter, do you have any, any products with lithium ion batteries in your luggage? What's the danger here? Why is it such a concern? So with lithium ion batteries, because they so they are so energy dense, um, they and they're actually more complex. Many of them have a computer chip in them to help control the um, the energy distribution and the charging, uh, which can can lead to some complications as you're using them, especially when you're charging them. The, the key dangers when you're when you're working with lithium ion batteries are if you're overcharging them uh, and if they become physically damaged. And those are situations where you it can lead to a very unsafe situation. We have seen stories of fires started by this. Some people have lost their lives uh, as a result. What are what are the biggest concerns you have seen, the biggest issues uh, caused by problems with these batteries? It, so there, there are a number of issues. Um, many times people don't know how to handle these batteries safely. Um, it's very important if you can use a lithium ion battery bag, which you can use for charging, um, especially if the batteries are small. Um, and if something happens, you, you've got a, a form of protection for sure. Uh, but yes, um, a lot of times when we, we see these issues with fires, what we're seeing are uh, a lot of times when you see aftermarket purchases of lithium ion batteries, be very careful with that because those kinds of batteries typically are not as well made as the batteries that might come with your device. Um, I've had my own situation with a, uh, a uh, aftermarket lithium ion battery uh, using, a, a, um, using that battery in a toy and saw that it was uh, swelling and it literally exploded in my hand as we got it outside our house. So, oh um, so th these are not to be trifled with and, and uh, I think that the dangers about them uh, are, are very real for that sure. That is so scary to hear. I'm glad you're okay. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. thankfully we are, but, but in uh, other cases, uh, folks haven't uh, fared so well. I'm in New York City back in February, a journalist was killed and 18 people were hurt after a lithium ion battery on an e-bike sparked a fire in a six-story building. So, uh, you know, there are some real concerns to be, uh, to be thinking about. All right. Uh, we have so much more to talk about, but we're out of time. Dr. Brian Staley from the Environmental Research and Education Foundation, thanks so much for informing us. We really appreciate your time. Absolutely.